Hey, how you doing? It might take me a minute to explain this one. This is a uh, cell phone video from back in 2016. And uh, I was standing out on the porch. This taken with a cell phone. But I was standing out on the porch and uh, some friends of mine that live across the hall had pulled up in their SUV and were sitting down there talking. So I was watching over the uh, horizon there, what I thought was an airplane flying along. It had a red and a white light on it, and I was trying to determine, you know, which way it was going and what kind of plane it was. And uh, all of a sudden it turned to the right and came right at me. And then it stopped. And I thought, hmm, pretty sure that's not an airplane. And just about that time, this thing looked like it was on an electric pogo stick. Both the red and the white light started going up and down so fast, I couldn't keep track of what it was doing. And meanwhile, it went off to the right over the apartment and was gone. I was like totally gobsmacked. So they came upstairs and I go out in the hallway and I start ranting and raving like you do when you see something like that. And one of my buddies come out on the porch as I'm telling him what was going on and ask him, did you see that? And yada, yada, yada. And I'll be darned if the thing didn't come back. It came over the roof and right in front of us. And he's looking at it, I'm looking at it, and man, I'm fumbling all over the place with my phone. I'm trying to take pictures. I'm taking pictures of myself. I was taking pictures of the porch, and uh, I just couldn't get it right. But anyway, this is uh, one of the only pictures that I got. Uh, and I think the red one was out over the roof uh, when I took this, finally got this uh, picture right here taken. And... Um, I sent a report into uh, MUFON, and they didn't really seem to think it was any kind of a big deal or anything. So, anyway, this is uh, this is the image I got from that night, and uh, the reason in my mind, you can see a couple other ones, uh, um, you know, up here. I don't know if those are just uh, might be stars or something that were, you know, blurred from uh, me uh, trying to take a picture there. But this thing here, I think the reason that this is green, okay, is because of uh, mercury vapor. And how this thing works, I, I don't claim to know, but you can see all these ridges on here. And I get a lot of uh, infrared images on my uh, infrared camera that uh, look similar to the structure of that thing there. But again, I think the uh, the green color is from mercury vapor. Like if you take a uh, picture of a street light and it's got mercury vapor in it, it's going to give you that green color. It's not going to look uh, white in the photograph for some reason. I don't understand that. But So maybe this thing, whatever it is, is uh, using mercury spun at high speed for, you know, anti-gravity uh, 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 purposes. But it looks a lot like this one right here that I took, um, geez, I think that was uh, back in earlier this summer. There was three of them, uh, appeared right off the uh, porch here. And this one here looks very similar to that one. But anyway, going back to uh, 2016, this particular guy here looks a lot like the other two I just showed you. And it comes out of one of these pictures here. Now, don't ask me which one because my eyes are really bad, but it's an enlargement of this right here. But this is what I was taking a, a picture of was this area up here because I saw something glinting over here by the moon. And at the time I was taking the uh, photographs, I didn't notice this right here. But now watching this series of photographs here, how that moves uh, towards the moon. 
you see it kind of creeping in that direction and this photograph here you can see the uh, spouting on the uh, building right there on on the right hand side and this uh, moon dust uh, for lack of a better term here see how it's moved closer to the moon there now in this 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 particular picture here I, I enhanced the uh, crap out of it and enlarged it because I was trying to uh, see what this was right here and uh, look at that what in the world can that possibly be it, there wasn't any clouds out that night when I was taking these uh, pictures so man I, I you know I've got a video uh, to show you uh, at some other time that's got that eerie looking kind of green sparkly stuff in it that uh, it was kind of spooky when that happened huh? but anyway uh, moving on here these are some images uh, from back in 2016 out of my cell phone. Now, I didn't have a computer at the time, so I had to keep bugging my son to uh, download these images onto his computer and search through them and come up with any uh, anything that I could find there. And, geez, this thing looks like it's got a large antenna array or a solar collector uh, on it. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like it's got a unit in between these two pieces here. So, geez, what they are, I don't know. But let me show you some other images of my cell phone from back then. I mean, I was just uh, really fascinated by them because after a while I started realizing these are not, uh, you know, just glitches or artifacts or whatever you want to call it on the phone. They're something else. I mean, this thing's got uh, some kind of a physical, you know, structure to it, it looks like to me. Might not to somebody else, but I think that was an actual ar object and not a, uh, an artifact of any kind. Now, did, do you remember the old, uh, I think it was Gemini uh, program? That's kind of what this reminds me of. If it was a little bit longer neck on it here and narrow at the top, and then it kind of flared out where the heat shield was. I mean, I know it's, you know, certainly not anything like that, but what I'm saying is, this looks like it's got a ribbed uh, structure to it. And uh, very similar to the uh, corrugated surface on that uh, um, spaceship. But anyway, this one here, I've got some images here recently that I took of the moon that I'm still uh, going over. And one of the screen grabs looks exactly like this thing here. I mean, who knew bricks could fly, right? But uh, wait, wait, wait till I show you that um, uh, screen grab. I mean, it could be just bats or something flying in front of the moon, but um, they sure do screen grab really neat. Uh, I'll have to show you the, the similarity between the two of them. It's just uh, striking. <laughs> and this one here, I get a kick out of this one. This is an old cell phone. Uh, image from 2016. Did you ever see The Incredibles? Remember when he was in the uh, in that one room where he had to go through the lava or whatever it was, and he got down there to where that computer was, and he was looking at all these people that got off, and then they he got found out, and he starts trying to make an escape, and then uh, all them little turrets came out and start pelting him with them great big balls of uh, tar or whatever it was. That's what this thing right here reminds me of. It looks like one of them tar cannons. Um, let's hope these guys are friendly. Moving along, here's some more uh, images. This one here, I guess if you turned it a little bit more to the, you know, on a 90 degree angle there, you could kind of make out what might look like windows i know they probably aren't okay but you know they could be if you wanted to use your imagination right through there right but anyway that one there uh kind of looks like a old hot dog in a bun or something but anyway uh, i appreciate you having a look and make sure no matter what you're doing out there you take care Thanks for having a look.